So this is all firms. Um, this is aggregated data over a number of years. Uh, but on average, um, what we're looking at on the vertical axis is the cumulative abnormal return. And then, of course, on the horizontal, um, this is a standard event model. So it's event day zero. You see the line. Uh, and then what is the return prior to that, going back to about 10 days? What's the return up to 30 days? Yeah. Unsurprisingly, what we're looking at right now is that when a firm announces a stock buyback, uh, on that day zero, we see a positive response in the market, as we would expect. Now we're going to use sort of our methodology about position in that network of ownership. What does it mean to span ownership clusters if you're a firm? What does it mean to be owned by, in the present moment, investors who themselves are dissimilar? The red line here is investors who are similar to one another. They hold portfolios that are highly overlapping. What do we see the market response? We see it happens much faster and much higher, right? Magnitude's bigger and speed is bigger. Uh, in the latter case, the blue line is dissimilar investors. And this is holding constant things like number of investors. So this is just do the investors in these companies, are they similar or dissimilar to one another? The blue line is they are dissimilar, structurally speaking. You see, again, a positive response, but it's much, much slower and the magnitude is smaller. The second one I'll show you, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up, uh, is, as I mentioned, revenue below expectations. This is all firms over a period of time aggregating data. Uh, same idea, same standard kind of event model. Um, as expected, we see a big negative market response in terms of cumulative abnormal returns right around that announcement. When we split, again, based on what is the position of that firm within this ownership structure, what do we see? The firms that are that have uh, revenue below expectations, that have similar investors, are having a much more pronounced negative response. And in this case, we get drift. So they are responding very quickly, very rapidly, and potentially uh, not very accurate, right? So after about 10 or 15 days, we have a drift in that price back up, as opposed to these firms that have dissimilar investors, what does their response look like? Well, it's coming down, as we would expect, but not to the same magnitude, and we don't see nearly the same level of reversion or drift back, right? What do I want to end with? Remember the cow. Dissimilarity, heterogeneity, diversity, no matter how we want to call it, is fundamentally the driver of wisdom of crowds and why it works. Uh, what I do in my research is uh, I didn't come at you uh, with any sort of um, new data per se. Uh, I came at you with a different way of thinking about the data that you already have in front of you. Um, I appreciate the time. I'm happy to answer any questions. And I also am around for the rest of the day, so feel free to ping me. <laughs>